In this question, we're told the first term of an arithmetic series is 4, and the common difference is 6. A part i says to show that the nth term of an arithmetic series is 6n minus 2. So starting off by saying a is the first term is equal to 4, and the common difference d is equal to 6, we can use from the formula booklet un is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Substituting our values in, we get un equals... 4 plus n minus 1 times 6. So I'm going to expand the bracket. So I'll get 4 plus 6 times n is 6n. 6, 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. And then just collect terms to show that we do indeed get 6n minus 2 as required. Part 2 says the sum of the first n terms of this series is given by this series, Sn equals 4 plus 10, etc. Without using the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series, prove that S sum of n terms is equal to n times 3n plus 1. Okay, so if we start by writing this out, so sum of the first n terms is 4 plus 10 plus dot 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 dot, and I'm just spacing it out and you'll see why in a moment, 6n minus 8 plus 6n minus 2. If, like Gauss, we write this backwards, so I've now got 6n minus 2, the last term first, followed by the penultimate term second, plus dot 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 dot, plus second term as penultimate term, and plus 4 as the last term. Now at this stage, if I add these two series together, so I get the total of two summations of this series, 6n minus 2, Minus 2 plus the 4 gives us plus 2, so I get 6n plus 2. Now all the terms are going to be the same. If you check, minus 8 plus 10 is plus 2, so I get 6n plus 2. So all the terms are the same, so I get 6n plus 2. And we're going to add up 6n plus 2, because there are n terms, we're going to add it up n times. And so instead of adding it up n times, it makes sense to do n multiplied by 6n plus 2 instead. And all that leaves at this stage is to divide both sides by 2. So we get s summation of n terms is n over 2, 6n plus 2. And actually what I can do is there's a common factor of 2 inside this bracket, so I can divide both of those terms by 2. So I get the summation of n terms is n times 3n plus 1 as required. Okay then, well let's have a look at part B. Part B says the tenth term of another arithmetic series is four times the fifth term. So we could write u10 equals four u5. We're also told that some of the first 15 terms of the series is 210. So summation of first 15 terms is 210. So now we want to find the first term and the common difference of this arithmetic series. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to form two equations, so simultaneous equations, in A and D using these two separate bits of information. First of all, I'm going to use un equals a plus n minus 1d to form an equation with that first piece of information. So I get a plus n, which is 10, take away 1, so 9 times d, plus 4 times... Uh, a plus n minus 1, so 5 minus 1 is 4, times d. Now, if I collect all the a's and d's on the right-hand side, what we're going to get is, if I subtract a from both sides and I subtract 9d from both sides, we're going to get left with uh, 4a take away a is 3a. We then get 16a take away 7, uh, sorry, 9d will give me 7d equal to 0. Okay, so that's my first equation. So let's now do, do a second equation, form a second equation using the sum of the first 15 terms equals 210. So what we're going to get is n, and what we're going to use for that is s, the sum of n terms is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. 
So we're going to get 15 over 2 times 2 times a, so we've got 2a, plus n minus 1, so 15 minus 1 is 14, times d, equal to 210. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is this is this equation is a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to simplify it a little bit. I'm going to times both sides by two, and I'm going to divide so both sides by 15. So what happens in this case? We get 420 divided by 15 gives me 28. So we get 2a plus 14d equals 28. Now, if I actually call that equation 2, if I double up equation 1 so that I can make the d's match, I get 6a plus 14d equals 0. And if I call this, so that was equation 1 times 2, so if I call this equation 3, and now if I do equation 2, take away equation 3, we're going to get 2a take away 6a equals minus 4a. And then 28 take away 14d take away 14d is 0, and then 28 take away 0 gives me 28. So dividing by minus 4, we get left with that a is minus 7. And then so if I substitute that into equation 1, just to find d. And so what we're going to find here is that 3 lots of minus 7 plus 7d equals 0. So if I add 21 to both sides, we get 7d equals 21. And then I can divide by the 7 to get that d equals 3. OK, so part 2 then says, given that the kth term of the series is 200, find the value of k. So what we know is that uk e equals 200. So in other words, what we have here is a and what we're going to do again here is we're just going to use, I'll underline it just to emphasize it, we're just going to use the un plus a plus, U a, the nth term is a plus n minus 1d. We're just going to use that. So we're going to get uh, a plus k minus 1 times d, which is 3. And actually what I should do really here is instead of a, I should be putting in minus 7. Makes more sense is equal to 210. So I can add to 7 to both sides and tidy up the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, I now get 3k minus 3 equals 217. Right, sorry, it shouldn't, I don't know why I put 210 there. That should be 200. So let's just change that. Sorry, it's a lapse of concentration there. So 3k minus 3 is going to be equal to 207. And then so if I add 3 to both sides, I get 3k equals 210. And if I divide both sides by 70, we get that k is equal, not divide by 70. My brain's running ahead with me there uh, and thinking about the answer before I've got the answer. I should, of course, be dividing both sides by 3. So I get k equals 70. OK, well, I hope that made sense, apart from those last two little slips there. Let's have a look, see how the marks are awarded in this question. OK, so initially, uh, we get a standalone mark if you have convincingly shown how to substitute a and d into the formula for the nth term and rearrange it to get the nth term required. Uh, Secondly, we get a method mark for reversing and adding the series. And then we get an answer mark if you've got that this is going to be n times 6n plus 2. And then finally, we get an answer mark if we've divided by 2 and got to the 3n plus 1, and that is convincing. OK, so then in part b, Part B, we get a standalone mark for forming this equation here, first of all, from the use of the nth term and information from the first line. 
we get a standalone mark for forming the second equation for using the summation of n terms and the information in the second line. There is a method mark for attempting to solve these simultaneously in a correct manner. And there is an answer mark once you have calculated both a is minus 7 and d is equal to 3. Finally, there is a method mark given when solving the last part for substituting in uh, a d and the sum of, sum of the series, uh, sorry, the value of the term into the nth term. And then there is an answer mark if you've worked through it successfully and got an answer of k equals 70. Okay, well I hope that all made sense and you was able to follow my solution and that you understood how to mark it.